Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll explore NewsBank, an online collection of newspapers and magazines available for free with your library card. Let's begin by navigating to NewsBank from the library's homepage. We'll start on the left-hand side under Library Action Center and click on the button for Catalog and Account. This will open the library's catalog. And in the upper right-hand corner, you can log in with your full library card number and password. Just click Log In. And once you're logged into your account, you can scroll down the page, and on the left-hand side under Electronic Resources, you'll find NewsBank. Click on the NewsBank link to open NewsBank's homepage. Let's begin by taking a quick look around the homepage. On the upper left, there's the NewsBank logo. You can click on this at any time to return to this homepage. Next, there's an A to Z source list. If you click here, you'll get a full list of all the publications available through NewsBank's New England collection. You can click on any publication, or if you want to narrow down your search a little bit, you can put in the name of a specific publication to see if it's available. And if you click there, it'll take you to Newsweek. All right, let's return to the home page. The third item at the top here is a session folder. You can create a personal folder to save your news bank searches and articles. Next up is a bit familiar keyword search box. And under that, links for more search options, date search, and map search. And we'll return to those in a moment. At the bottom of the screen, some handy buttons for some specific publications, one for a list of all New Hampshire publications, and one for news magazines from around the country. Okay, there are several different ways you could choose to use NewsBank. You may be searching uh, for a specific article or on a particular topic, or perhaps you just want to browse, just like you would browse for newspapers and magazines if you were in the Bean Room at the library. So let's say we want to browse the New Hampshire Union Leader. We can click on their button, and you'll see it brings up uh, the New Hampshire Union Leader's page. If we wanted to search a specific topic, we could do so in the search box. But if we're just browsing for now, uh, you'll see there's several options at the bottom. So all NewsBank publications are available in text format. Uh, some are also available in image format. Let's take a look at what that looks like for the union leader by clicking here. Next, we'll choose what edition of the paper we're looking for. Let's say we want to look at the Sunday, January 12th edition of the union leader. We'll click on the calendar here. And this will open up the front page of the newspaper for that day. You can use these tools in the top here to zoom in or zoom out. And you can use the thumbnails on the right hand side to navigate to other pages in the newspaper. So for example, we could click on page three. And now we can move around the page by clicking and dragging. And again, we can zoom in to read the article that we're interested in. So that's what it looks like to browse a newspaper in NewsBank in image form. I'm going to go back to the home page here and let's take a look at what it looks like to browse in text form. Let's start with the Manad Knock Ledger transcript this time. And again, if you're just browsing, you'll just click on the collection as a whole. And now we'll choose an edition to read. Let's say in this case, Tuesday, April 7th. We could click on that item. And this is what it our, the newspaper looks like in text format. It'll be a list of articles that were published in that day's paper. We can scroll down till we find an article that's of interest to us. Let's say this open air planning meeting. We'll click on that link. And here's what the article looks like in text format. So text is handy because it's easy to access, easy to read, easy to search. And there's even a little function here that if you click, it'll read you the news document. And that could be handy. All right, let's go back to the home page here. So if we wanted to browse, instead of mag, uh, newspapers, we want to browse magazines, we can click on this button here, and it will take us to a list of all the magazines available in NewsBank. Again, you can click on a specific publication you're looking for, or you can search uh, to see if that publication you're looking for is available. And the last button on the bottom is New Hampshire State Sources. And if we click on there, we'll get a list of all the New Hampshire publications available in NewsBank. And same applies here. Click directly on one, or you can search for one, for example, example the Telegraph. And so that narrows it down to the Telegraph. OK, so we've looked at how you can browse newspapers and articles in NewsBank. But what if you want to search on a particular topic or are looking for a certain article? Let's say your neighbor told you there was an 
article about a meeting that was recently held in Dublin. Uh, you can put Dublin meeting into your search box and click search. This will bring up many articles, in this case, over 8,000 results. So that's a lot to scroll through. You might want to narrow your search down a little. And a good way to do that is the filtering options on the left-hand side of the page. So for example, we said your article was in the last two weeks, so we can narrow the search down to the last two weeks and hit apply. And that'll narrow those results. Now we're down to only 25 results, and we could scroll through those. However, if we know the publication that it was article was in, for example, let's say your neighbor told you it was in the Monadnock Ledger transcript, you could also click to narrow the search down that way. And now there's only a few search results, and the second one is that open air planning meeting. If we're not sure if it's the article we're looking for, we can click on preview. And if it looks like what we're looking for, we can click view document. And here, that's that same article we found before when we were browsing, but this time we found it by searching. Okay, let's return to the home page here. There's, that's the basic search function. There's also an advanced search available under more search options. This will bring up this search screen and you could enter your same search terms. But in this case, you could choose to say, well, I only want to see articles where that's in the headline or the first paragraph and so on. Or you can add other operators here. For example, we could say uh, Dublin hearing, but not in Ireland. And let's now search on that. And it brings up some search results for us here. We may need to scroll down a little bit, but eventually we find the same article we were looking at before. Okay, couple other options. Uh, what the date search really just opens the same search box, but makes date the default setting. Let's try map search. So again, let's use our same search. We'll say we're looking for that Dublin hearing, but this time instead of filling out other variables up here, we'll go down and click on the map, our New Hampshire, and this will narrow our search to only items on a Dublin hearing that took place in New Hampshire. And here's our search results, and sure enough, in this case, it brought our uh, desired article right to the very top of the search results. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief tutorial. Happy searching and browsing, and we'll see you next time.